A couple of extra tools that can help you with your product lighting. One is diffusion, and the other is fill. So how would we use diffusion? Think of a diffuser as uh, clouds in front of the sun. So you have your light source, which is the sun, and then you have a diffusion, a big cloud. And what that does is it really softens out the shadow. Let me show you some examples. Where we have this reflection here in the metal, if I then take the diffuser and pop it in front, what you'll see there is it really cleans up that metal, and diffuses the whole lamp right across, so we get a nice graduated tone. So there we go, without and with. We also have these highlights here that we want to deal with. They're a little bit hard. So what we want to do is also, using another diffuser on the other side, pop that in to really clean up those harsh highlights, just for a much more smooth and even look. So again, this is without, this is with. So if I add in this diffuser here, you can see the light that was coming from the top right here, casting these shadows in here. Once I add the diffuser, it softens it right down. So we don't have the harsh shadows. Just like uh, when the clouds go in front of the sun, the shadows are much softer. Another thing to note is just like with clouds, the brightness goes down. So you may need to compensate by increasing your exposure. So if you have hard shadows uh, and you want to really lift uh, the shadow area and soften out the whole picture, then diffusion is the way to go. Another nice one is fill. So using something white to reflect the light back into the shadow areas. It doesn't soften out the shadows, but what it does is it adds light back into the shadow area. So this can be really useful when you have, uh, for instance, light coming from one side, but you want to have an even light across the product. Using fill can help add some light back in and even out the picture. So here we have an example here. We've got some pretty harsh shadow down here. If I add a fill slowly, you can see that it really lightens up that shadow area. This is really helpful if you don't want to have deep shadows. You can add something white to really clean up that shadow. So here you can see, with and without. So an ideal scenario for this, if you wanted this light direction, is to use a double fill like this, one on the bottom, one on the side, to really soften that up. So using a simple whiteboard or some diffusion material, we can really control the light across our products.